Yo, you must be Masato. <laughs> An Oni? Oh no, not another one! Oh, uh, yeah. Not the one that robbed you, though. So, uh, <laughs> chill. I contacted you before, remember? I need your help. Oh, uh, right. Sorry. I'm still a bit on edge after the incident. <clears throat> so anyway, here's what happened. I was just out transporting some goods when a group of Ronin suddenly attacked me. It's not the first time that's happened to me. Usually you just hand over some Mora and they'll leave you alone. At least you don't lose your goods that way. But this time was different. They weren't willing to talk things over. Instead, they took my things and they started coming for me! Huh? That's totally uncalled for! I got down on my knees and begged. Said I had a family to care for and that my business is our only livelihood. Then I saw that there was an Oni among the group. I thought he was going to be the one to finish me off. But instead, he stopped the others and told them to let me go. Yeah, that got them all arguing with each other. His cohort said that I was sure to retaliate if they released me. But the young Oni was insistent that they shouldn't lay a finger on me. Things got real heated. I thought they were going to come to blows. Luckily, they let me escape with my life in the end. And I scrambled to get myself here, where I'd be safe. <sighs> I never want to set foot outside of here again! So he'll steal, but he won't harm people. <laughs> Seems he has some sort of standards. Did he say why they were robbing you? Surely it was Mora, right? What else could they have wanted with me? I mean, I can't say for sure, it's not like I asked. But what I did hear them say was, the goods are worth more than the merchant's life. Or something like that. Ugh, that idiot Oni. Do you have any idea where they went after they robbed you? I have no clue. But I think they're pretty active in the Tatarasuna area. You aren't gonna go after them, are you? Seriously, I'd advise against it. There are too many of them and they're all heavily armed. Ah, don't worry. It's just a bunch of no-name scumbags. I got a whole laundry list of scores to settle with them. If these two islands are where they tend to hang around, we're sure to run into them at Nazuchi Beach sooner or later. They gotta pass through here sometime. Let's just hang tight for a while. If I'm not mistaken, they'll be showing up any time now. Yeah, things might get a little rough, so we better be prepared. Oh, here they come! Yeah, there they are. And one of them has horns. All right, it's go time. Let's get them! Looks like you fellas aren't going down without a fight. Fine by me. Let's fight first, let's talk later. Hey, don't even think about running. It's me, Arataki Ito, descendant of the Crimson Oni. <laughs> I know who you are. From the day we are born, every blue Oni knows their purpose. We all know our fate is one of self-sacrifice. But what about the Crimson Oni, hmm? You don't know anything about us. Not our miserable history, or any of our names. Mine's Takuya, by the way. But you don't even care, do you? Because those who get sacrificed should be forgotten, right? No, you're wrong. I never knew the Blue Oni had survived to this day, and the moment I found out, I was determined that I would find you. Since you remember the pact between our two factions, I assume you also remember the pride we share as Oni. So my question is, how could a proud Oni like yourself go and abuse the weak and plunder the innocent? Why break the oath that our kind swore all those years ago? <laughs> huh? What's so funny? <sighs> Who are you to talk about pride and oaths with me? The Blue Oni gave up everything, just so the Crimson Oni could live peacefully in human society. But let me ask you, Arataki Ito, what exactly do you contribute to human society? You're a blundering fool who can't hold down a real job, a laughingstock of the town, and worse still, you let them get your vision during the vision hunt decree. 
Protecting the Oni Pride? Huh. You wouldn't know how if you tried. You're a disgrace to the Oni kind. Hey, come on. None of that stuff's a big deal. I, I mean, you're, you're really hanging me out to dry here, man. Since when do you care what other people think? You just do whatever you want. It's not like anyone can stop you. But do you have any idea of the kind of life my kin and I have lived while you've been hanging around in human society? We were cut off from the rest of the world. We severed all contact with it. And since then, we've had no place to live, no stable source of food, no clothing, no medicine, nothing. Besides the oath we swore to uphold in our so-called Oni pride, we had nothing. So that's why you joined a band of thieves? That's right. Why should I accept that life? Is holding fast to a worthless oath supposed to help me provide for my family and friends? I've abandoned our Oni pride. It's meaningless. I want to live. I've given everything that I've stolen from humans to my community. What I've taken will at least keep them from starving and ease their pain. That's what matters most to me. Yeah! And besides, the Blue Oni sacrificed themselves so that Oni could be accepted as part of human society. If people see Oni causing trouble again, then that'll defeat the whole purpose of the <laughs> you make a good point. But Arataki Ito's the one who needs to get that into his thick skull. The Blue Oni are the bad guys, so we're expected to do bad things. Our actions won't tarnish the reputation of the Crimson Oni. Unless, of course, this bonehead decides it'd be a great idea to take all the blame for himself, completely destroying the trust between humans and the Crimson Oni in the process. He's the one that wasted the sacrifice we made. Huh? Well, I only had to do that because of you! I couldn't just stand back and let the Tenryo Commission drag you away! You should get your priorities straight. The Blue Oni are history, alright? Forget about us. The Crimson Oni are the ones who must live on. Why couldn't you have just stayed out of this? There they are! Seize them! Oh no! It's the Tenryo Commission! Forget it. This was a waste of time anyway. Look, I don't expect you to understand me, but you could at least take a look in the mirror sometime. Hey! Hey! He got away! Uh-oh, we need to get out of here too! <clears throat> we can't get caught here. Looks like I'm up to bat. Just wait here and we'll escape together when the time's right. Whatever you do, don't attack any of the Tenryo Commission, or they'll be after you too. Come on, men! We won't get away this time! Just give yourself up, our Takamito! Man, they really came out in force today. I'm kind of flattered the Tenryo Commission sent so many. But I still haven't completely recovered from the bean attack earlier. I'm starting to lose my edge here. No, no way. All that would do is send them after our Blue Oni friend instead. But I have to settle things with him first, man to man. So what should we do? The Tenryo Commission's about to arrest you! Uh, no choice but to keep kicking some Tenryo butt! Hey boss! Thought you'd have all the fun without us? Granny Oni sent us. We're here to lend a hand. Maybe we can't take him, but we can sure slow him down. Now's your chance! Go! Hey, I told you to stay out of this one. Well, we're in it now. Come on, there's no time! Go! Do what you gotta do, boss! <laughs> All right, then. Watch yourselves. As Soon as I'm done, I'm coming back for you. Come on, you two. Time to roll! Don't let them get away! After them! Hey! You guys want some of this? There's plenty to go around. Run for it, boss! Ah, 
As boss of the Arataki gang, getting rescued by my own boys feels pretty humiliating. I promise to never let you down, boys. All right, we've got some footprints to follow. Let's find Takuya. It was real touching and all what they did. Those few guys weren't much of a gang. Hey, it takes Mora to run a gang, okay? Huh. Is it just me, or are there more and more footprints here? At least we know we're headed the right way. Let's see what else we can find ahead. <sighs> a wrecked cart and some goods. Look alive, we've got company. Seems they definitely don't want us going any further. Let's see what's waiting for us up ahead. Huh. Besides the footprints, there are other signs of life here too. Must be plenty going on around here. Let's investigate. They couldn't have just disappeared into thin air. Hidden entrance, yes! All right, I think we just found their hideout. This is gonna be where they keep all the people they took. Paimon thinks Takuya's probably in there as well. Huh? Uh, oh, uh, fire away? <laughs> of course I did. Come on, I'm not that dumb. But it takes a world-class blockhead like Takuya to think his ideas are actually gonna work. So I'm here to save him no matter what. Huh? What are you two talking about? Are you keeping Paimon in the dark again? <laughs> uh, let's go. All acquired by less than legitimate means, no doubt. And all the more reason we gotta put an end to this. How come the stairs are over there? We can't go up if we can't reach them. No problemo. That'll be what this mechanism's for. Oh, it's moving! Ah, <laughs> see? What did I tell you? Just trust my instincts. I must be holding on to them for leverage. All right, let's get them out of here. We don't even know if he was taken here or not. But, but... Oh, my little Daisuke! Oh, you must be Daisuke's parents! Yes, that's right! Have you seen him? Where is he? Is he alright? Don't worry, he's safe and sound. Someone's looking after him now on Yashiori Island. I can show you where on the map. He's been worried about you. I bet he'll be relieved to see you. You were the one who saved him? Oh, thank you, thank you! <laughs> no, no, please, no. No need to thank me. It's, it's my pleasure, really. It's just who I am. It's what I do. Before you go calling me a hero, let me ask you this. Wouldn't any other self-respecting guy who saw another person in danger have done the exact same thing? Really? Just one little compliment and it goes straight to his head. These vagrants are insatiable. They'll do anything for money. No one dares stand up to them for fear of what they might do. Well, would they really do anything drastic? Um, no, actually, because one of the guys, the one with oni horns on his head, has always shielded us so far. Oh, in fact, his horns look just like the ones this guy has. At night, he would secretly bring us food and water, I don't understand what he was trying to do. Are you a friend of his? Or perhaps a relative? Uh, relative, I guess. Oh, maybe there's something secretly troubling him. He seemed different from the rest of the gang. They seem like heartless crooks, but I'd say he comes across more like a confused child who made some poor choices. Uh, let me put it this way. There are a few things he needs to straighten out in his head, and I'm here to point him in the right direction. I'm glad to hear that. He's lucky to have family like you. <laughs> Don't worry. He'll be in my trusty hands. I'll help him see the light. Anyway, you should scram. 
It's still not safe here. Yes, thanks again. You've rescued our entire family. We are indebted to you. Huh. A child that made some poor choices. Anyway, let's get going. While we still have time. This is the place. The jig's up! Surrender while you can! Bet you think you've won, don't ya? <laughs> so naive! This is my home turf. I'll let you in on a little secret. A long time ago, I picked up this rare paper charm. It's very precious to me. What makes it so special is that if you tear one piece, the other piece starts tearing too. Uh, Newsflash, don't care about your cute little origami obsession. You better stay where you are and let me finish. Aren't you curious what the other piece is used for? I'll tell you. It's now the critical component of a mechanism, and when it gets torn, this place goes up in smoke! Yeah, the whole hideout is rigged with explosives and ready to blow! What? You're gonna blow this whole place up? Oh, don't worry about me. I made sure that I've got an escape route. The rest of you, though, you're gonna be buried deep among the rubble. You've had your fun. Now it's goodbye. Uh, uh, my paper charm! Where's my paper charm? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you looking for this? Yes, that's... It. But when did you... I snatched it earlier. To stop you from doing anything hasty. Why, you... And now you're going to betray me? You're one to talk. What about burying everyone here? If you ask me, that sounds like you've already betrayed our agreement, no? <sighs> Just give it here! You done talking now? Huh? You sure? Great, cause I'm done listening! Yeah. <sighs> Great work, Takuya. You arrived in the nick of time. Stay away from me! Uh huh? I said stay away, or I'll tear the paper charm! Hey, oh, okay, okay, uh, fine. Just calm down. What are you doing? Just because I won't let him blow this place to bits doesn't mean that I won't do it myself. Unless you want to get buried, you should leave this place now. Take everyone here and get out! <laughs> you won't go through with it. If you were that cruel, then why bother protecting every person you've come across, huh? I'm not here to reason with you! Go! Just get out of here! This sacrifice is mine to make! Mine alone! Why couldn't you just stay out of it? No one needs to sacrifice themselves! Alright, then you tell me. What am I supposed to do? I've tarnished our Oni pride and abandoned our ancestors' oath. Only sacrifice can restore my pride now. I chose this path so I could provide for my fellow Oni. I was ready to die from the very beginning. This is between us blue Oni. But you... If it wasn't for you, everything would have worked out perfectly! They're here! We won't let them slip away this time! Uh-oh! There's nowhere else to run! Hey, Tenryo Commission! I'm the one you're looking for! I did it! I'm behind everything! Arataki Ito is innocent! You're the ones in charge of detaining criminals in human society, right? I'm sure you can tell who the criminal is here. Huh? It's like he's trying to reenact the fairy tale! Sacrificing himself for the Crimson Oni! Ignore him, he doesn't know what he's talking about. It's me you've been looking for, and here I am! How are you ever gonna report back without capturing me? <sighs> Stop fooling around, Ito! Listen, Takuya, sacrificing yourself won't solve anything. Your sacrifice can't protect me or your fellow Oni, and giving up your life isn't gonna make theirs any longer. Sacrificing yourself is one way to escape your fate, but the only one you'll be setting free is yourself. Listen to me. You wanna be the tough guy, huh? Well, this is the coward's way out. Don't let your sacrifice stain our Oni pride. <sighs> The Blue Oni have been scraping the bottom of the barrel all these years, so let's give them a new beginning! 
We've made mistakes, but we can make up for them. Fate hasn't been kind to the Oni? Well then, let's tear it up and start over! But before any of that can happen, you need to get yourself behind me and forget about all that self-sacrifice stuff. Now let's go. But we're not done talking about this. Uh, talk with ya! I'll take care of this. There are still people in danger. Go, help them! What? <laughs> hey, I got this. Come on! Forget about me! Just go! It's what I deserve! Ah, shut up, would ya? That's gonna hurt tomorrow. Ugh. What's up with the looks on your faces? I said we'd be okay, didn't I? I'm sure I'd be looking a whole lot sharper right now if it wasn't for that brutal bean attack of yours earlier. Why? Why would you do this for me? I'm the guilty one here. I don't deserve this. Because we're Oni, that's why. We share the same blood, brother. Our parents and their parents before them never taught us that it was okay to abandon family in need. I just wish you'd come to find me sooner. If you knew about me all along, then you should have come and asked me for help. I never would have dreamed of turning you away. The Blue Oni disappeared so that they wouldn't bring trouble to the Crimson Oni. If I came to you for help, wouldn't that just undo everything the Blue Oni have done? Not to me. I've always respected the Blue Oni for their sacrifice. Nothing they did was in vain. It's only because of them that we have survived to see today, and built a world where Oni and humans can live side by side. Honestly, everything that I have now, I owe to the Blue Oni. And let me tell you, the Inazuma of today wouldn't see you as a villain just because of the color of your horns. You say all that, but... In spite of everything, you're barely getting by. <laughs> That's just how I roll, man. You remember the pack, don't you? We're not supposed to suck up to the humans. We're supposed to earn their respect. Every member of the Arataki gangs had a tough time trying to fit in. Take Akira, for example. He snores like you wouldn't believe. Or Genta. He's got a serious temper problem. And Mamoru? Well, he's colorblind. Even Granny Oni. She got that name for taking me in as a kid. We're all rejects and outcasts in some way, but we don't care. You want to talk about pride? Well, in our gang, we're proud to welcome anyone who's been through adversity with open arms. But... I... Ah, don't worry. The Arataki gang's already a bunch of misfits. You really think you could cramp our style? We've dealt with the Kairagi and the people they took captive. I assume the two of you are finished talking. Takia, based on the findings of our investigation, I hereby announce that you are officially under arrest for forceful seizure of people and property. Please do not attempt to resist. All stolen articles will be reclaimed. That means we'll be seizing all the goods you passed on to your kin. No, please don't. Without those goods, they'll... It's all right, Takuya. 
Those goods never belong to us anyway. Don't worry, I'll help take care of your kin. Now that I know the situation, I'll personally make sure they never suffer again. Might want to put your grand plans on hold there. You're under arrest too, for numerous assaults on the Tenryo Commission officers. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I guess I forgot about that. But no worries, I'll put my gang on the case. My boys will take good care of the Blue Oni. Yeah, we've already arrested them too. Oh, right, yeah, uh, uh... <sighs> That's what they get for resisting the Tenryo Commission. Yeah, I guess it's up to you then, Traveler. Could you be a pal and tell Granny Oni about the Blue Oni situation? Thanks. And thanks for sticking with me to the end. Once I'm out of the slammer, I'll find a way to make it all up to ya. As for you two, lending them your aid when you knew full well they were in the wrong means that the culpability extends to you too. But, given your unique circumstances, and in light of the complexity of this case, we won't press charges this time. <laughs> Sorry for the trouble. Hey, wait! W unique circumstances? Are these guys like a, a, a big deal or something? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Because I was gonna say, you know, like, I, I'm kind of a big deal myself, <laughs> you know? Yeah, alright, uh, see you next time. Whenever that'll be. Well, he's pretty... Weird. But at least he's not a bad guy. Ah, yes. That does sound like my Ito. So, did they take Uncle Ito away? Yes, they did. But don't be too upset, Daisuke. We will have the chance to see him again. He and his gang may have acted recklessly, but the fact remains that he still helped us. Yeah, I knew it! Uncle Ito helped us, and he's awesome! Now, don't get any ideas, Daisuke. Ito is a far cry from awesome. He still caused a lot of trouble for a lot of people. If you ask me, I'd say he's like one of those little Oni Kabuto you kids are playing with all the time. Though he looks fierce on the outside, he has a kind heart. He's not a delinquent, but he'll never back down from a fight. Uh, I don't really get it, but it sounds like a compliment. I can't wait for my next beetle fight with Uncle Ito. Thank you, Granny, for taking care of our little boy. I hope that Ito and his friends will be released as quickly as possible. Yes, you needn't worry. The officials in the Tenryo Commission will certainly exercise sound judgment. It's time we started heading back. We'll be sure to visit again soon. Ah, I'm glad that everything was resolved in the end. Things were looking quite dire, but now the future looks bright. Wonderful, wonderful. As for the Blue Oni, just leave them to me. If there's one thing an old granny like myself can do, it's caring for others. Do you need our help? <laughs> no, no. Go on ahead. I'm sure you have other adventures beckoning. Besides, once Ito is released, he'll be here to help me. Oh, yes. And you know what? I think that's what makes him adorable. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> he does whatever he puts his mind to. He's sincere, brave, and determined. Back when I took him in, everyone thought I was most unusual indeed. They started calling me Granny Oni. But I've never been ashamed of this name. On the contrary, I'm quite proud of it because Ito is my pride and joy. A long, long time ago, in a village lost to time, there lived a crimson oni and a blue oni. They were the best of friends. The crimson oni wanted to be friends with the humans, so the blue oni played the role of the naughty kid. And then he left. 
After a long time, the Crimson Oni was living happily with the humans. But in his heart, he wanted to bring the Blue Oni back home. The Crimson Oni didn't know where to find the Blue Oni. His search took him up the highest mountains and across the widest rivers. He found many traces of the Blue Oni, but the more he found, the clearer it became. The Blue Oni was hiding on purpose. So just as the Blue Oni had once done, the Crimson Oni left him a letter. Dear Owl, I've made lots of human friends now, and I want to have a big party for everyone. I want all my friends to be there. That means you too, Owl. If you don't want to meet me, you can just watch from a distance. The Blue Oni snuck back to the village and hid in the shadows. He saw the great feast and roaring fire and longed to join in. But though his stomach rumbled, the Blue Oni remembered the oath of old and kept his distance. Suddenly, he jumped! The Crimson Oni was right behind him! <laughs> hey, you're finally back! Come on, I'll introduce you. It's time everyone met my best friend.